Hello, my name is Thomas from Caro Electronics and I'm your host for our series How to get started with your Caro system on module. In this video, we will take a look at our STM32 processor based QSMP module mounted on a QS Base 1 developer kit. Let's get started. Our ZOMs are delivered with all the equipment you need to get started right out of the box. Let us first unpack your ZOM. Up in the box, you will find your QS module mounted on a QS Base mainboard. Please unpack the mainboard in an ESD compliant environment. To connect your board with your computer, you will find a micro USB and a USB to TTL serial cable in the box, as well as the hardware documentation of pinouts and interfaces and your personal registration code for software support. Let us now connect your board to your computer starting with the USB to TTL serial cable. Please note the polarity. Connect the black cable to pin 1. Ignoring the polarity can lead to irreversible damage. Use a free USB-A slot to connect the cable to your computer. The used FTDI chip is both Linux and Windows compatible. For Linux users, Please take a look at the device folder to check the device name, usually slash dev slash ttyusb0. For Windows users, please check the COM port your cable is connected with by using the device manager or a tool such as USB DView. To prepare the communication between your computer and your QS module, now open a terminal and connect to the serial port of your device you have detected at the previous step using a baud rate of 150,200. When using Linux, for example, execute minicom minus capital D slash def slash ttyusb0 minus b150200. When using Windows, for example, start a put your session to serial line com1 speed 150200. Please check if the jumper of your QS base mainboard is set to normal boot. For all STM32 processor based QSMP modules, set the jumper to high. Now it's time to power on your board. Connect the micro USB cable to your board and to a free USB A slot on your computer. You will now see the QSCOM booting up. Each QS base mounted module comes with a pre programmed bootloader and at least a rudimentary Linux kernel and a tiny rootfs. If you need to reinstall or update your ZOM, please refer to the download area on our website. Your personalized registration code allows you to download the latest software for your module. That's all up to here. Further videos will be about first steps with the specific pre installed software on your system on module connecting to periphery and optional devices, and getting started with building application solutions. Thanks for your time, and don't forget to subscribe to our channels, also on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Jump ahead with the architects of technology.